So next one up is the AnyCubic Photon, one of the more popular, more common ones out there. Uh, this is try number two for the Photon. The first one we received was actually uh, non-functional. Half the LCD screen was out. I tried all the, the simple fixes from the web, uh, you know, reloading firmware, all that stuff. Nothing helped, so we sent it back. Um, there are other fixes included opening it up, uh, making sure all the connectors were connected and all that fun stuff, but for the purposes of this trial anyway, since I bought it from Amazon, it went back and we got a new one. Alright, so got the box open here, of course, user's manual, package of spare FEP film. After service card, very important. Bottle of green resin. Got a power supply. The normal standard accessories. Pair of two of gloves, scraper, Allen keys. A little bit nicer. I'm assuming that's for the bat. The notoriously bad USB sticks. Just about every forum talks about replacing those with a higher quality one to avoid failed prints. And of course, the machine itself. We'll pull the foam off. Come well packed. Just about all of them. Are really well packed in the foam so they can survive their their long sea journey. And there's the machine itself. Take the plastic off. And more foam. Got our build plate. Filter funnels there. And of course, our vat, all that's in here. Well, we'll go ahead and pull the rest of this protective film off and then get this up and running. Really, the only assembly, and it's not really assembly, one thing that's not already installed is the, the, the knob for the, the uh, door. So we'll put that on, get it plugged in, and start the calibration setup. Hopefully, it'll uh, go better than the, than the first time did. As I mentioned, the only assembly, that's not even really assembly, if you want to call it that, just putting this knob on, you're good to go. So we'll go ahead and open it up. Move the resin vat to the other side. Got it plugged in here. Uh, power switch on the side. Go ahead and turn it on. Got our photon screen. It's always a good sign. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and level tools, move Z, home, I'll bring our Z axis to home. We're going to take our build surface here, loosen the set screw on the top until it's free to kind of pivot around there. Install it. Take a piece of paper, slide it underneath there. Now we're going to set our z axis here, we're going to set it so it moves 0 0.1 millimeters uh, per step, and we'll push the buttons here. We're going to lower it gradually, tenth of a millimeter, until Contacts the plate. Papers in between there. Now, what, what we're looking for is we want to be able, we want it to be 
basically pinch it down on that piece of paper evenly and we want it to where we can pull it but have some difficulty pushing it. So basically uh, there's resistance uh, to when I go to, when I, when I, if I try to push that piece of paper there's too much resistance Punches up, but I can still pull it with, with some, some force. Um, that looks about right, right there. Push it, doesn't go anywhere, pull it, it slides out, but with resistance. So, I'm gonna hold on to the plate, do this with two fingers, get it. Kind of square there. And then we'll go ahead and tighten it up here. And set, set screw on top. And get it good and tight. All right. Now we am switch this back over here. Come back. We set this as our Z equals zero. So that resets the zero level on the Z axis. And you do have to confirm that by hitting yes. So that's it. Now, we can go back to the move Z. We're on 10 millimeters now, so we can move it faster. So get it up out of the way so we can install the resin back. There's our resin back. Keep film installed nice and tight. That's good and clean. Might as well check that now before you install it. To later. Put it in there. Very important step here. Tightening the screws. You know what? I might as well just take this off for now. Just it away. And put on some gloves. Uh, of course, I've only got one left in the box. I got plenty of boxes, but I'll stick that one in there. Just because I'm handling the resin here. Now, this is uh, already pretty well mixed because this, this just was delivered not that long ago from UPS. So, we've got the old UPS mixing, but we'll give it a little bit more mixing here. Anyway, this stuff won't be as bad because it's a, it's a clear resin. It's a green tinted, but it's a, a translucent. Some of the solid resins have a lot of pigment in them, they can get in the bag. Fill it about a third of the way full. Should be good. Go ahead and put the curve plate back on. Alright, so we've got the resin in, everything's leveled. Uh, I'm going to use the Applied USB drive here. And we'll start a print. All you gotta do is go ahead and send that home. Just make sure it's working over that still. So turn to your main menu. And then the menu option there, farthest to the left, print. And go in there. You should have on here. It's all in Chinese, so I had to. Took me a minute there, but there we go. There's the model we want to print. It's the uh, photon test cube. We'll go ahead and select that. It displays the model. Shows what we're going to print there on the screen. And we'll go ahead and press print. And it's just going to home again. And it started its print. And this one, like, like a lot of the other ones, displays each layer as it prints. Kind of a nice feature. So We will be back in a couple of hours. Let's see what we got. Five hours, 24 minutes have gone by. And the first test print is done.
on the AnyCubic Photo. Here's to be successful. I'll go ahead and get it out there and see how it looks. Looks good. I'd call that a successful print. Go ahead and get cleaned up and we can cure it. Move on with the testing.